My name is Anisha Truesdale and I am the Teen Program Director here at the Walnut Street YMCA. So today was an awesome day. We had the Red Clay Youth Voice Bus drop by. So we had a lot of students get on the bus and kind of share their thoughts about what's happening in the world today. Um, any personal things that they want to talk about and discuss, get off their chest. Um, they were able to do that here on the bus. And so it was a pleasure to see. I was excited for them to offer them that opportunity where they're able to get on the bus and to share those thoughts. I think every team needs a space where they in a place where they can do that. I've been by myself lately. I've been by myself, been stressing because of the things I'm going through with home and school. I'm really just ready for college. I just want to get out the house, start my career, start my life. That's what I really want to go and focus about. Just keep positive thoughts. Negative stuff is just, it's just trash. But positive thoughts and the mindset to understand people around you. I aspire to inspire. So I hope I inspire whoever is listening to me right now and whoever will listen to this. And I always advocate to educate people the best way I can and what I know best. Love. Love is all we need, man. It's too much going on here, out here, man, for people to be still hating each other, still fighting, still in the same old stuff we've been doing, man. I watch on the news, I watch, what do they preach on the news, man? Shootings, killings, somebody got shot today. There was a riot, politics, man. You rarely hear about love on the news, man. They'll preach on the news, police versus black people. It's not police versus black people. It's people versus people. Everybody need to come together. If we don't come together, ain't nothing gonna change. Changing laws, changing the president, the only way things really change is love. Come together, talk to people, have conversations, love each other. Everybody can communicate, everybody can love. That's the only way it's gonna change. I feel like race in America has always been a problem, but with the recent events that are going on with like George Floyd and all of those things that are going on, it has now come up again. Today, I know I feel that. I don't feel comfortable sometimes, you know, wearing my hair a certain way or saying certain things around certain people because I feel like it's not relatable or they won't understand me. I feel like there's just so much cultural difference in the world and that I feel like everyone needs to be educated in the way certain people are and it's sad to see like especially in America right now how divided we are and how people don't want to see the other people's side and I feel like we need to come together to see that. My school, I am one of, I think, only the three African-American students in my class, and it can be it can be difficult sometimes, and I know that, especially going to a Christian school, they might have certain principles that I don't agree with, or I say things that they may not agree with, and it can be hard sometimes finding that common ground. But I think that collectively, we need to hear each other and speak to each other as a nation, whether you're white or black or Asian or Latino or whatever the case may be. I also think that race is a big part of who everyone is. Obviously, no one should be judged for their color or what they look like, but everyone has a culture and that's specific to them and it makes them unique and individual. So I feel like everyone needs to embrace that At the end of the day, everybody's lives should be important, should matter. I'm just cool. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> to be a part of a group and to be able to make sure that your voice is heard amongst a group of people who may not be exactly like yourself or from the same background as you, but to make sure that they understand that their voice is very powerful. 
I have the wonderful privilege to work with young people and I've been doing that for about 10, 11 years. Um, and it's such a blessing. Um, I never take it for granted. I always tell people I truly think it's my purpose to help young people find their purpose. I live by that. I work hard to make sure that each young person that I touch or encounter know that they are loved, know that their voice and their life matters. You think you know, but you have no idea. You have no idea what kids go through to get to where you are. You have no idea what they go through at home. And so I love these platforms where they get to share their voice. I love these platforms where they get to speak because I didn't have that when I was growing up. And so just the opportunity for them to be able to do this, get their, get their voices heard, and to share their thoughts is an amazing opportunity. So to all you youth development professionals, teachers, mentors, parents, if you ever come in contact with the young person on a daily basis, never take it for granted.